So that's what we've tried to do. Uh, we'll try to do today in practice as we go out and uh, our recovery plan um, with our practice plan, our scouting time, and just excited for today. It's an another day to have an opportunity to play. James? Hey, Coach. Going into a game against Arkansas, they've got a lot of really good shooters and, and can score on the perimeter, uh, unlike maybe any team you've played yet this season. So how do you slow that down uh, defensively? Well, transition defense is really, really important. Um, we'll go out and uh, watch on film uh, today how we want to put that transition plan into place and uh, hopefully look like we're prepared and execute the game plan come Sunday. Um, you know, again, they're really dynamic in transition. I think the uh, – when I talk about that, I know you're talking about three-point shooting, but, I mean, they're going to make some threes. Um, I think it's just uh, important to understand that free throws and layups, you know, are what they can cause so – and wreak so much havoc with in transition. So – We've got to defend um, points in the paint and the free throw line and uh, limit three. So that's a tough task, but one we feel like if we'll go out and execute, um, we can certainly be successful. Roger. Coach, what can you tell us about just the resilience of your basketball team bouncing back? We've seen that a lot for all these players, especially the seniors all throughout their career, but especially this season as well. Uh, just anytime there's a setback, uh, your ladies are ready to go. No question. You know, um, our kids, you know, I call it shake it off and they call it shake back. So I've kind of modernized my shake it off to shake back. And, um, you know, Jasmine came up with that. So I, I'm all about shake back and we have to shake back. You know, the, the thing that I think sometimes – you know, again, I think you have to credit the number three team in the country last night for finding a way to win. And um, they were better at we were for too many stretches uh, to put ourselves in a position to be successful. So you learn from that. As a competitor, you hope you get another chance, possibly in the SEC tournament, to improve on that experience. Um, but certainly it starts with Arkansas. And we got to shake back. James? I know coaches hate to look forward more than uh, one game, but you're, you're 31st in the net and you're a projected seven seed just about everywhere. So how are you feeling heading into this last stretch of the season, uh, knowing that according to all the analytics and the, the analysts, you're in the tournament uh, pretty firmly at this point? Well, I think it's important to understand as a competitor, you want to win the next game. Uh, you're not just satisfied with that. I'm certainly not. Our staff is not. And we need our team to learn how to be that way. And um, that has nothing to do with last night. I just think that, you know, you never take anything for granted. And with what happened to us March the 13th a year ago, um, we need to make sure that, you know, we just take advantage of the next opportunity uh, to represent the front of our jersey in the manner it deserves to be represented and, and play our guts out and put ourselves in a position to get another win. It, it can only improve seeding, you know, as far as the NCAA tournament. Um, and you're playing an Arkansas team who's higher in the net, um, beat Baylor, UConn, their preseason. I mean, it's unbelievable how much this win could help. Roger. Coach, it's game 16 in SEC play. Uh, Alabama's been able to play each and every time there's been an SEC game on the schedule. Just how proud of you of that fact, and I'm sure more kudos to your MVP, Darren McIntyre, than then just the daily discipline your players have been showing. Yes, I was about to mention Dara again. She is our MVP um, with the effort and energy and time and communication and methods that she, um, with the direction of our medical staff, um, ha have put into place. But it's also a buy-in. It's also selflessness from your players on how important this is. And uh, so it's been a combination. Uh, all of the staff, players, everyone, every part of our support system, whether it's academics, whether it's nutrition, whether it's strength and conditioning, to respect and understand and help support us on where this is coming from. And, you know, we'll have some new guidelines into place as we head into the SEC tournament, even more stringent per the SEC. I mean, there's going to be a lot of sacrifices. And our kids have made so many um, since they came back in June. And we've just got to finish this strong as far as what those protocols are and take them to a new level because you're entering a critical point where you don't, you don't want it to hit us now. Any other questions? All right, guys, have a good one. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, guys. Roll Tide. Have a good weekend.